It's uh, um, there's a desperation. Uh, I think there's almost a panic on the part of the Bush administration and Cheney and those guys because um, they're not able to um, to come up with this. But what there's people that digest the information and. Uh, and and figure out what they're really trying to do, and then they broadcast it. The 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 internet and and the computers, um, the um, the uh, radio <laughs> talk shows such as yours, and such. It makes information available to the people, and they can't. They just can't do what they used to do uh, without getting exposed. I think they're in a panic. Red, you're absolutely right. Uh, I am here while you're talking, reading the rest of this. There's actually a YouTube video. He, uh, he said this weeks ago, and this is just now coming out. I mean, there's so much evil, we can't even cover it all. Cy Hirsch said the New Yorker decided not to run with the story because the White House decided not to stage the event. That is outrageous that the New Yorker magazine knew about this meeting and had witnesses to this, but even Cy Hirsch wasn't basically allowed to run with it. Well, because the New Yorker said, I'm reading it right here, said, well, they didn't stage that, so we're not going to report on it. This is incredible, Red. <laughs> they, they are in a panic, and, um, and, of course, you see, they've let this thing get away on the e economic scene, and now it's out of there. It, they, there's no way. There's no way that they can pull this thing out of the fire. It's it's going to and they're going to set off a nuke or something. Them. Mm -hmm. It's going to swallow them in the process. No, I'm just freaking and, out. I mean, I mean, I agree with you, and probably swallow us in the process. What do we do? No, no, no. The little people at the bottom are always the ones that survive. The meek shall inherit the earth. Yeah. The the the, the little people at the bottom are the, always the ones that survive. There's too many of us. And, uh, and, and, but those people at the top, I'll tell you, uh, there's going to be some war crimes trials, should be, and I think there will be. Um, you know, there's more and more people on a daily basis that are, um, are saying, oh, we've got, to, uh, we've, George W. has got to be impeached. They don't understand, though, he is just a puppet in the front. But I agree, both political parties have been discredited, evidenced by the Gallup polls coming out, 9% approval ratings for Congress, the lowest in history by many points. What's going to happen to all the, as the economy implodes and there's millions more cops, revenuers, bureaucracies, what are they going to do as it comes out their bosses are terrorists, as the, the whole government is discredited, what are all they going to do? <laughs> we'll have to wait and see what they're going to do, but they're 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 going to be in a very uncomfortable position. They're going to be in trouble up to their eyeballs. But I mean, there's going to be no more money to squeeze out of little old ladies no. on the side of the road, right? No more people to SWAT right. team and kill for fun. I mean, I yeah. guess the whole party's over for them, huh? The party's going to be over, no question about it. That's why I'm an optimist. I don't know. What if they set off a nuke and then prance around as saviors? They could do anything. Well, there there could be a lot of people uh, that get hurt real bad, but uh, there'll be uh, lots of little people that'll still be around. No, but I mean, you know, the globalists will kill a million of us in a blink of an eye, and I see these bastards setting off a couple of A-bombs so they can prance around in their fancy suits and be loved by the idiot population. I just hope the people out there stop being idiots, folks. This isn't a game. These people it, it could it could happen uh, but um, uh, they're gonna pay they're gonna get they're, they're gonna get caught they're gonna get trapped in their own uh, in their own filth and their own sin their own uh, scheming and such they're gonna they're gonna trap themselves oh God uh, let's take some calls Jeff in Detroit you're on the air with Red Beckman. Hey, uh, it's Alex Red. Uh, it's an honor to be uh, on the radio with you guys. Um, I just got uh, two questions for you, Red. Um, where, where is the... Are you guys there? What? Caller, uh, we're, we're here, brother. We're, we're, we're talking to you on air right now. Okay, great. That's where all I can do is just go to you. Where, where is the legal authority... Uh, as it pertains to uh, local ordinances and especially permits. They claim that uh, comes from the state, but most of that is fraudulent that, as well. 
those are all fabricated by public servants and uh, and they're not congress they're not state legislatures and all that and of course our state legislatures and our congress uh their their credibility rating is uh well they un- they tell me that the credibility rating of our congress in washington is even lower than the credibility for george w no it is it's nine percent w is like 19 cheney's at nine okay uh, mm-hmm. jeff good to hear from you uh we're going to maria in deutschland maria you're on the air from germany yeah, hi, yeah. It's all about beating off the Aryan race. You know, Hitler's father did in Germany. He was Aryan race. He never was for the Germans. He killed millions of Germans, you know? And then, and then he was supposed to be, oh, your people are so bad. The humans can do all so much badness. Nah, the Germans were busy fighting the wars, all the fucking wars that Hitler put him in. You know what I mean? My dad was fighting the war. Then he came back from the war, then he was in a prison camp. Then more people got killed, you know? Then people are, you know, the best. The best knowledge for people is really do not do what a Nazi tells you to do because he is against you. Just like Bush said, are you with us or against us? No, he is against us, yeah? So somebody told my dad, yeah, you have to wait in queue and get on that thing and this is going to go get you to that camp. And my dad and the maid of his, you know, they were in prison camp. They cut themselves on after a while, and my dad said, let's not be too quick on this, you know, there's something touchy, yeah? And they sneaked off, and they found a rabbit at night somewhere, and they found a family where they could crash overnight, and later, years later, he found out everybody on that, where they were supposed to go on, you know? And my dad is German, yeah? Everybody on that thing got killed in the next prison camp. And that was by the other Aryan race. So I want to tell you about the Aryan race. Yeah, I've got a website at www.bilderberg. B-I-L-D-E-R-B-E-R-G dot D-E dot T-T. Okay, we'll check it out. Thank you for the call from Germany. Denise in Arkansas, you're on the air with Red Beckman. Hey, um, I really appreciate the information and the opportunity to prepare. I'm a wife and a mom, and I'm trying to prepare for my family. My husband is not awake. He gets angry when I try to talk to him about this and try to wake him up, so I have to feed him, you know, just little bits and pieces. But my question is about the imminent collapse of the dollar, and I'm really worried. Um, My husband's at an age where he can cash out his 401K, but he'll have to pay a penalty. Is it in our best interest to cash that out and pay off our house? so that at least we don't lose the value of that. We have our house paid off. And I also had a question about the red, blue, red, blue, yellow list, where they're pulling people over, you know, for no reason and trying to get their info, trying to take their name. Is that the purpose to put them yes, on the list? Yes, yes. It's all part of training you to be pulled over, to be questioned, to be interrogated. It's all come out, and it's uh, now happening. As for list... Uh, it's declassified that they do have a list of people they plan to kill immediately, like me and Red Beckman, Red Beckman and I, uh, and many others they plan to take for re-education. This isn't a joke. It's now not Red Beckman telling you this 35 years ago uh, because he had military contacts. It is now in the newspaper telling you it's good. Uh, so I appreciate your call. Let's get Red's uh, take on what. You know, I'm not giving financial advice. We're covering what's happening, and then it's up to you to make your own personal decisions. Uh, but uh, Red. Well, it's it's not a time it's not a time to um, uh, think about how you can invest a dollar, uh, you know, to uh, uh, save your fortune. Uh, basically, you want to think about saving your life and the life of your friends and your family, uh, and and uh, wait until this thing uh, goes through, this storm goes through, and hope that you can survive. But uh, you know, pr- protecting your your uh, your wealth is uh, uh, that's not going to do it. I don't think. Well, I know this. I mean, I've got uh, four acres out in the middle of the country that I just happened to get uh, from a side issue, not even by design. I'm trying to look at some property, you know, where I can run out with an RV and I got a lot of food and guns if I have to. Or we've got family mm-hmm. family property three hours away, but I don't even know if I can make it out there or the people in that area. Or seem so brainwashed. My God, they probably think freedom's evil and might hang me for it. So uh, you know, it's not just the area. It's not just having a place to run to. It's it's who's in that area. Uh, I mean, it's just everything's going to hell in a handbasket. And 
It's all this blind worship of government that's done it. Red Beckman, I want to have you back up in the near future. I knew back in 2003 when I tried to get you on, you were in the hospital. We prayed for you here on air. I'm glad you're doing better. Fire out your address one more time for people. My address is just Red Beckman at P.O. Box 61, Carroll's, Washington. That's C-A-R-R-O-L-L-S. And the zip is 98609. Uh, I'm out in Washington rather than in Montana because uh, I have family here that wanted me where they could uh, keep an eye on me and uh, take care of my missus if I, something happens to me. So uh, I uh, still love Montana, and I'd prefer to be there, but I'm not there right now. But uh, if they kill me, Alex, it's a promotion. <laughs> Well, Red, we just, it's great having you, and it's great being able to spend time with you and so many other great Americans and people around the world. And, Red, God bless you.